Hey guys, Ryan King here, and I'm the keyboard instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In today's YouTube lesson, we're going to take a look at the song Here's My Heart by David Crowder. Specifically, we're going to look at the verse. Now, we're only going to look at the verse, so if you want to see the entire lesson and have access to all of our practice resources, the different lesson chapters, the patches, and that sort of thing, then you definitely need to click the link, head over to Worship Artistry, where you can sign up for an account for less than 8 bucks a month, and it's totally worth it. But just in case you want to check out a YouTube video, this is for you. As I mentioned in the introduction, this song really starts from nothing and builds into a huge exclamation of worship at the end. And so at the beginning, we're basically just going to start off with our JX warm pad for the introduction, and then we're going to go into the verses. Now, uh, depending on how you term it, the verse kind of feels like a chorus because that's the thing we sing the most. But uh, when they're singing, here's my heart, Lord, that's the verse, and then the other section is the chorus, and we'll take a look at that in a second. The intro and all of the verses are identical as far as the chords are concerned, but as we begin to build this, we're going to change our inversions kind of from verse to verse to verse all the way to the end of the song where it's just really big. As we do that, we'll begin to add uh, extra notes, we'll add higher octaves, and we'll begin to build our sounds. And so I'm just going to play through each one of these several times, and you'll be able to see the chords that I'm playing as well as how I'm building the sounds. And so for the introduction, we're just going to start off with our warm pad and it looks like this one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two verse and one two three four one two three four one two three four one two second verse and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, bigger verse, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, So as you can see, we're playing the same pattern over and over again. G sharp minor, E to B, but depending on which verse we're in, we're going to start to build that. And once we get to the very end of the song, we'll have all of our sounds in. Now when we first start off, we're just using our JX warm pad, and we start off with our G sharp minor to E2, and then to B. Now for the first verse, we'll come in, and it'll just be our right hand. But then second verse, we'll add in our chamber strings and we'll drop the root down to our left hand. G sharp minor, E2, and then B. Now the second time through, we add in our piano and we're going to arpeggiate our chord. So it's G sharp minor, E, B, two and three and four. Every time on beat four, we come down to this C sharp now. So G sharp minor, E, B, two, three, four. Now as we begin to build, we'll shift up to the high B. Same thing again. B, E, B, two, three, four. G sharp minor. E, B, two, and three, and four. Now the last verse, we're just going to strike the downbeats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. sharp minor, E, and B. Mm -hmm. 
And that's the verse. So again, the intro, just your warm pad. You can add the spacious patch in there and kind of feed it in just a little bit to give it some color. You do that for the first time through the verse. And then when you go to the second time through the verse, you're going to add in your chamber strings, drop down and do the roots in your left hand. And then when you do the verse again, you're going to come back to your acoustic piano, arpeggiate, kind of down here in the mid register as you begin to build jump up, add the high B, and still arpeggiate. And then when you get to the final courses, you're just striking on the down beats. And that's the, the, the verse, as well as the intro. So don't let that confuse you. Sometimes, uh, some people might call it a chorus because that's the main thing that you sing the most time. But if you're looking at praise charts, it's calling it a verse. So again, the intro and the verse are identical as far as the chords. You're just going to build them as the song goes along. By the time you get to the end of the song, have all of your sounds in and make sure you rock it out. Now, make Make sure to take a look at your sheet music down below, work through the loop video a few times, and let's move on to the next part of the lesson.